Hello and welcome back to uh, Aries 1020, Gray Man Gaming Channel. This is Valheim. I'm sure everybody that's a gamer knows about it. It's been out for for a while. I'm not doing like the origin story video or anything like that. So this is uh, it's about a month and a half in. I've killed the first two bosses and I'm just starting to get into the swamps. So what I'm doing right now, I'm cooking up some food here. Get it. Get ready to, to head out. I don't know what I'm taking there. I think I'm taking some uh, just regular old raw meat, cooking it up, some uh, neck tails, and maybe some carrot soup. Yeah, those are neck tails that are coming off of that. And we're out of here. Almost. Apparently, I gotta go upstairs. This house is. Uh, this was my experiment house. Once I got access to unlock, once I unlocked stone. So, in a future video right now, I'm working on upgrading it. Actually, I'm building a whole new home from scratch. Which, once I, I'm probably, I got the majority of it done. I'll be putting a video out on that, and uh, but this thing will be all coming down. It's, this is just me learning how to the mechanics and building. Uh, all right, that little cross we were pointed at. That's where we're heading. I've already been in it. Oh no, I haven't been in that one. I did get iron, but I was in another place after I killed the second boss and I went into the swamps there. And then I headed in there and I found that crypt and came back. In this game, you easily get sidetracked. You think you're going from iron. Oh, here we are. Now we're at the swamps. A good idea to bring uh, poison potions, a lot of food. Make sure your, your, your gear is repaired. There's everything in here wants to kill you. It'll sneak up on you. And you'll see that happen here. There's, you know, you... So this is uh, a little glowy green thing on the trees you can mine it pick it up and it's gonna it's gonna unlock some new gear for our new, new stuff building materials for me I think if I pick it up this is what I mean you just knock up on there we go so I can build a these awesome looking green torches and a green banner if you want a green banner I guess and and these guys these are just regular Draugr warriors they, they're camouflaged you'll hear them before you see them Just right there in your face. Got leeches in the water, they'll poison you. And then, well, yeah, skeletons. Gotta have some of them, because the Draugr weren't enough. So if you kill the leeches, they give you these blood packs, and you take them back, and you make uh, a mead, a uh, healing potion mead. You put her in a fermenter and you make your healing pot. Got enough of those trophies already. So you see me dumping like resin and resin you can get just chopping trees and killing gray dwarves all day long. So it's not really necessary to hang on to you. This by the bit well, my inventory was full before I even hit the, the crypt. I really gotta get back out here and mine some more of that. 
was it? Guck, I think it's called. No, too short. So I'm a lot further into this swamp now. It's also looking for the next mark and looking for bone masses as a marker rune, which I had just found like two days ago. I think I went through six or seven different crypts. It's still nothing and I found a I went in further into this this swamp on this landmass and ran into one of these towers like I'm coming up now and I found one at the bottom finally. So I haven't beat him yet. I'm not ready to beat him yet because, like I said, you can get sidetracked in these games easily. So all of a sudden I decided I need to rebuild my house. So I'm rebuilding my house. Why not? So I kind of just commandeered this tiny little fort here because it's night. going out at night in the swamp is it's a bad idea now you chop these ancient trees down it'll give you ancient bark and that'll open up some new, new uh, recipes and stuff where you can swap make weapons with it I think you use it for some of your boats That's the only reason I made it sniper point. Did nothing to get up here at me. Being night, traveling at night, you can get swarmed in here. I've been swarmed and I've died in the run back. Just, it sucks. And this is why you don't go out at night. But, a wraith and they will drop chains which will he didn't drop any but this one I'm gonna pick off across the way there can't believe I hit him tag so this one will drop a chain I think he drops two or three chains and that'll allow another upgrade piece to my forge and be the guy. Uh, I don't remember what the hell it opens up now. <laughs> it's a forge bellows? Yeah, the bellows. So now I can go back and make a bellows. So I just upgrade this enough just, you know, for like a checkpoint. Or if I get overwhelmed and run back, I can run back. So I'm putting up walls and I take them right back down because I want a sniper point. So I can, if I'm up here at night, I'll, I'll farm those, those wraiths and get more chain. You can find the chains in the in the crypt uh, chest too. I found a bunch in there. But the sniper point, like, I'm good with that. So I put a bed down. In case I die, I do a lot, and I've seen other videos where people do this, and I've seen them die a lot, so I don't feel so bad. I don't know what I'm checking for. Alright, off to the crib. I'm 
course. You don't get very far without something showing up. Now lately when I come in here, I don't always have the, <laughs> which is probably a bad idea. I've been out here a couple times and forgot my poison potions. <laughs> and and lived. It's probably luck. But it's not a good idea to come out here without them. Unless you're running back for your body. And then it's just, don't die. Again. And another skelly. And you got these. Uh, this is what I thought was the marker for uh, bone mass. And of course, being new, it wasn't. It's just like a a rune stone with lore or something on it. And I get snuck up again by a leech. But I mean, make sure you have them poison potions on you. Everything is creeping up on me. The other thing about the swamp is you are always wet, which will suck your stamina down. It just sucks. So you really gotta. Pay attention to your stamina, don't be squirting all over the place and jumping. And, I mean, with all the stuff that's coming at me, you really... I don't let mine go usually to about halfway and then I'll start walking. Ooh, mushrooms. No room for my inventory, of course. So I'll mark it on my map. Apparently they respawn in the same spot all the time, so I marked it on there. If I come back by there and they're there again, guess I'll, I was right. Thistle is used in pretty much the sausages and your a lot of other cooking recipes. I stop and pretty much grab all I can if I see them. If I have a room, I won't. You also get them in the dark forest, or the black forest, excuse me. Those green torches, oh, there's another crypt on the left. But we're going to go to the crypt on the right, and start getting us some iron. As soon as the swamp decides to stop killing me. Take this blob out of here as soon as I get up on the land. But I'm going to end this video here after I get inside the crypt. And you can join me next time when we start getting us some iron and all kinds of cool stuff out of there. Well, uh, thanks for watching. And make sure you hit the like button and possibly subscribe if you'd like. We'll see you next time.